Hello and welcome to this ZTPFGI demonstration. In this demo, we'll look at projects in ZTPFGI. A project provides a way to group files and folders that pertain to a particular work project without needing to change the actual location of the files. Let's start by opening the projects window. We can do this by clicking the projects button in the home tab of the ribbon menu. As you can see, there are currently no projects in view. Let's create a new ZTPF project. We can, if we need to, save the project to the host, perhaps for ease of access or distribution. However, let's save this one locally on the PC. Let's name the project MyZTPF and save it. The project is created with a set of filters. However, until we associate files with the project, these are empty. Now let's add a file to the project. The easiest way to do this is simply drag the file and drop it into the project. The project automatically adds the file to the correct filter folder. In this case, it's an assembly source file, so it adds it to the source folder. As you can see by looking at the host files window, the actual location of the file has not changed. Now let's add an entire folder to the project. If you need to, you can specify a file mask and only files that match the mask will be associated with the project. You can also choose whether or not to recurse into subdirectories. If a project doesn't have an active configuration file, then one is assigned by ZTPFGI as soon as one is added to the project. You can see how each file is automatically filtered into the virtual folders within the project. For example, source files go into source, objects go into objects, and configuration files go into the configuration folder. Remember that the files themselves are not moved. The project view is a virtual view. When you look at the host files window, you can still see all the files and directories outside of the project context. When you look at the project, you're only seeing the files that belong to that particular project. You can even add more than one project to the projects window to form a project group. You can add projects from the host or the PC. Once you've created a project, you can set the project's properties. You can set the active configuration file for the project. You can also set the project's compiler options and you can customize the appearance of the project by adjusting the properties of the filter folders. All the files in the project automatically take on the project's properties. From within the project, you can view files and you can compile, build and load. Being able to set an active build configuration file for a project is a very useful feature. It means that a single project can contain multiple configurations that meet different needs. You can switch to the desired configuration before building. As an example, let's look at the APE4 project. This project has two configuration files defined, a development build configuration and a production build configuration. If we build, APE4 is built using the active configuration. Switching configurations is as easy as right-clicking the desired configuration file, in this case make TPF prod, and selecting set as active config. Now if we build, the production configuration will be used. Thanks for watching this demonstration of projects in ZTPFGI. To find out more, 
please watch some of the other demos that are available, take a look at our brochure or contact us for further information.